。Hello, this is Rai Snow. So let's continue this notepad making program. So far, we have created this window and then、uh, we made this menu bar and also added some items here. But right now, even if you click these,、uh, nothing happened. So this time, we're gonna add some functions to these file menus. So, to add some functions,、uh, let's make a new class. Let's make a new class, and、uh, I'm gonna name this as a function file.、Hmm. Okay. And,、uh, okay, constructor. Okay, first、uh, we're gonna get this. GUI class, so this class, so because we're gonna use a lot of stuff in this GUI class, so a lot of components. So we're gonna receive this GUI class、uh, from this constructor、so、and the GUI and this dot GUI equal GUI. So now we can access everything in. This GUI class from here. And first,、uh, let's add function to this new new item menu, menu item.、Uh, so I'm gonna make method public void、uh, new.、Uh, we cannot use new, so new file. So what's gonna happen if you、uh, click this new? So basically, it's gonna start a new text file. So, first, we're gonna access a text area. So, gui.text area. So, text area means this one. So, we created before. So we're gonna access this text area and set text. So, nothing or like a blank, blank text. So, this is gonna erase the current text and、uh, also a window and、uh, set title and uh, uh, new. So, what this means? So, this is, means、uh, if you click this new, then、uh, It's gonna create a new text file, so the title will change to this new. So that's, that's it for now for this method. Then we're gonna implement an action listener to this window. So when you click something, click some objects, or click menu, then something's gonna happen. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to this GUI class. Let's implement. Implements action listener and import. Okay, and、uh, also this one unimplemented method. So here, override and、uh, action performed method. So、uh, you can type the result of the action. So yeah, we're gonna do this later, a bit later. and、uh, So, yeah, let's,、uh, let's add the、uh, action listener and、uh, action command.、Uh, first, this one. I knew, new menu. To this, and、uh, you first、um, add action listener. Listener, and、uh, yeah, this. And also, action command as well.、Uh, set action. Action command, yeah, command and action command will be uh, uh, new, I think. Same, okay. And then, so we can receive this action command, so we can use this、uh, here. So, first,、uh, string and、uh, command equal、uh, e dot get. Action command. Okay, so this basically means so if you click this new this new button, then、uh, it's gonna get this action command, in this case, this new, and put it, put this new to this string. 
command and uh, let's make switch statement and uh, use this command as the has the condition command and case so if case in this case new so if action command is this new then uh, yeah do something in this case uh, so let's call uh, this method new file method so to call this new file method let's uh, first uh, initialize this function file class here function file file maybe uh, equal new function file okay hmm? ah okay and also uh, send this GUI class because uh, it's receiving GUI okay yeah so after this inside of this round bracket and so we can use this file file class so here file dot uh, new file new file method so we can call this new file method here so this means if you click this uh, new then uh, this new action command will be sent here and so you can call this method okay let's check this if it works or not so so first let's type something okay and let's uh, click this new okay so it's gone so basically so text is gone and also the title changed to this new so that's how action listener works and uh, okay so now new is okay for now and let's do this open so this is gonna be a kind of a tricky one hmm. so okay so first let's make another method public void open hmm. and uh, okay so what we are gonna do so yeah this is the finished version and so if you click this open it's gonna show this kind of a pop-up dialog box so you can choose you know desk desktop or C drive or anywhere so we want to you know display this uh, dialog box so to display this this box this window uh, we're gonna use a class called uh, file dialog and uh, initialize I'm gonna name this FD and equal new file dialog and the round bracket and inside of this round bracket first we're gonna put window and then so we're gonna add some text and uh, this time I'm gonna type open and I'm gonna explain a bit later so let me type first and then finally final parameter is file dialog dot and so there are several options here and this time we're gonna choose this load so if you want to open a file then uh, you want to choose this load and also uh, set to visible true otherwise uh, it doesn't show up okay so uh, let's add action listener and uh, action command to this open as well so let's change this I open I open and uh, open and uh, add another switch case so this time open and uh, also method is open open method in this uh, file this one uh, yeah let's check it all right file and uh, let's click open yeah this box is displayed and uh, so yeah it says open so this is what we typed here and uh, sorry but uh, as you can see this is uh, displayed in Japanese because uh, I'm using a uh, you know, Japanese windows so but if you are using uh, like English 
、uh, windows, then、uh, you can see everything in English. So, and this, so we set the third parameter here. So, file dialog load.、Uh, this changes what is、uh, written here in this box. So, and、uh, now it says open, you know, it's in Japanese, but、uh, it, this means open. Because we set this parameter as load, and so if you set this as like a save, then、uh, this changes to save or something. So we're gonna, we're gonna see it later because we're gonna implement save function as well. But, anyways, just remember so, first we're gonna choose a window, then we're gonna choose what, is,、uh, what will be written on this window, and then You know, we choose what will be written on this、uh, button. Yeah, so now, you know, we can open this dialog box, but we still cannot open this file. So that's what we're gonna do next.